Hi everyone, my name is Pastor Jason Wright. Uh, I've worked at Bourne Evangelical Church over the past 11, 12 years now. Uh, pastored it for 10. We have a new pastor at the moment. And this video really is to share with you the vision that we have at Bourne Evangelical Church. Tell you a bit about who we are and uh, where we're going and really seeking your prayers, uh, your generosity uh, to come alongside us, to support us in prayer and see the vision completed. And um, I've got some verses of scripture in front of me here that I'd like to read to you. Um, there's a question of why do we need another church? That's a Good question. Thousands of churches, lots of um, branches of Protestantism. Well, first of all, let me tell you about when we started and why we started. Uh, I'm a former Jehovah's Witness. And when I came out of the Jehovah's Witnesses, became a Christian, I found it very difficult to make sense of the Christian church. Um, difficult to even make sense of doctrine and ended up doing uh, theology degrees to try and uh, make sense of the church. We found ourselves struggling to find a church that was um, biblical. Many um, extreme charismatic churches or very heavily reformed churches. And so we began a small Bible study group. And that group was held at my home. And it became apparent over time that we needed to have our own home as a church, that it wasn't sufficient to just meet in a home. Um, we weren't breaking bread properly. There was no structure to the church. And so we voted to begin a church, which we felt led to establish in the town of Bourne. And to begin with, this is going back to 2009 when the first home group was started and then in 2013 uh, we started having uh, teaching days at local village halls and in June 2019 we that's when we came to Eastgate in between time we were at a community hall so we've been going a, a while now and it's a beautiful chapel that we've moved into but really to answer that question, why another church? The prophet said this, the prophet Amos, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, uh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And perhaps you've experienced that yourself, this famine, not just in Great Britain, but across the globe, a famine for the words of the Lord. Churches are busy. Uh, with social action, um, lots of more charity orientated um, outreaches, missions. But when it comes to the word of God, um, there's a sign and a crying because it just isn't there. And if it is there, it tends to be quite shallow. And we, churches have their own identities. Our identity is really a teaching church. And that's my heart. I'm... My training is now um, in uh, the academic world where I teach on new religious movements, uh, God, science, theology generally. So as we recognise the days in which we live, then Born Evangelical Church has this special attention on the word of God and on evangelism. And so we, we've been meeting at Eastgate Chapel since 2019 and we knew that the day would come when we could possibly buy the building because we were renting and are renting from the united reformed church now the Re united reformed church was established if i've got this right in 1972 it was a, a amalgamation of various presbyterian and congregational churches that came together and formed a new denomination. Unfortunately, it has, I think they would admit this, 
it has been infiltrated with liberalism and with uh, identity politics and all sorts of things that have robbed it of the gospel. Unitarianism, a lot of ministers are Unitarian. So inevitably these denominations that stray from God's word um, find themselves in trouble. And so the URC church dissolved this past January, um, which gave us the opportunity to buy the church. Now, you would expect churches and church denominations who want to see the gospel preached to simply pass on the buildings to another group um, who have the same um, objectives for the spreading of the gospel. Well, that isn't the case. Unfortunately, denominations are more like businesses and orientated that way. So we do have to buy the building. We couldn't fundraise uh, while the URC was still meeting. That would be disrespectful and unfair. So when it came to them dissolving, there was a valuation and we've been given that at £220,000 for the sanctuary and the church hall, which is a lot of money. Um, having said that for the size of the building for the potential it's not but for a congregation of 20 people it, it is a lot of money but we are working with other local churches as well who have uh, premillennial churches that have a similar theological basis to us um, but we're inviting really those saints to who hear this and may grasp the vision uh, to come alongside in prayer and support financially if possible because our time is running out the urc are, are pushing for a settlement we're not um, able to get a mortgage we're not able to secure it that way uh, there's very few if any charities out there that are willing to invest in a building they'll give you funds for social action work after securing the building but we've got to secure it ourselves um, and the urc are not looking for a long-term arrangement they're looking for something fast and quick and there are various i guess political reasons for that um, the charity commission does allow churches to be passed on free of charge so there's no real argument that they have to sell it for a large sum of money. It's just how these church businesses work. But anyway, why are we different? Well, we are a teaching church. I am qualified in that area. And the church hall is so vast, so big, that it would be a perfect space to create not only a cafe for the community, um, workshops for the community and outreach generally but also a library area a christian bookshop possibly a um, charity shop there's the room for all of this quiet spaces warm spaces help for the homeless and for me personally a place of being able to teach not just our church but the wider church with seminars workshops um, and focused areas such as systematic theology, um, doctrine generally, uh, church history, that type of thing. And they're, they're the sort of things that you'd have to pay for or try and find online. And we would like to provide that service to the wider body here in Bourne. So it is a big vision. It's a vision that we believe the Lord has given us. But to the, our first step is to secure the building um so that's where you guys come in to to pray pray with us um to support us um and spread the message you know if if you can give that's wonderful and we know the lord can provide in whatever way he wants but we personally as a as a congregation have, have really reached capacity in this regard and there's no more we can do um to to raise the money all uh, roads seem to be exhausted and now we're appealing to the, the wider church so please pray about this please pray for us 
you can see um, on our website what we plan to do and uh, the vision we have already raised internally over twenty thousand pound which is is a lot of money for a small group of people many of whom are, are not on um, high incomes so if you want to see a bible believing pre-millennial israel loving church in the town of Bourne, and by the way there is no other witness to those specific doctrinal positions um, then please support us please help us um, and god bless you for your faithfulness thank you